Peace fam, this is your intuitive holistic coach, Coach Chris. Um, today is the 12-12 portal, 12-12-23. And um, this is a reading for the Mercury retrograde. Mercury is going retrograde tomorrow on the 13th. So source told me to read, do a reading for it because I was helping, teaching my son to read. We're working on reading and um. I don't know, the energy has been off today. I had an appointment, the person, my ride, the car broke down. Then um, the Lyft app wasn't working right. They, something was going on, it was glitchy. Then, <laughs> but I still got a ride and I made it down in time, but then they were running behind. It's like a lot of different things were happening. And then like, I felt this anxious energy and I sort of said, you need to do a reading. Because that wasn't my energy. That was collective energy. But let's clear the energy. Ashe. Okay, fam. I hope everybody is well. Hope you're loving on yourself. Treating yourself right. Treating yourself nice. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Source, spirit, guys, divine ancestors, give us a message for the collective today regarding Mercury retrograde. Let us know what we need to look out for. Let us know any information that we need. Give us clarity. Give us wisdom. Protect us during this time. We love you. We thank you. We want messages from you and only you. Ashe. Thank you, Source. Okay. Source here. Clarity. King of Swords. <laughs> Source here, guys. Divine ancestors. What messages do we have for the collective today? That was a stack. Okay, let's see. Boy, when I <laughs> when I tell you that four of pinnacles and that four of swords is like I'm back. <laughs> it's just here for yesterday's readings for today for the twelve twelve four. So it's very guys and ancestors. What other messages do we have to collect us today? So it's very guys and ancestors. Any more messages? The four of one, two, so still got you in the end, so I can my message for the collective. Mm. If I just, no. wait, no, that's what's going Let's see, it's over. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have strength, Leo energy, the top, King of Cups, emotional stability, maturity. Okay. So, we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles upright. Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Nine of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Five of Cups. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Ace of Cups. Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. Okay, fam. So, um, I 
So there's a lot going on this reading is regarding the uh, Mercury retrograde that's starting tomorrow, December 13th. And right now we are in the 1212 portal. And I already felt the energy. Mercury retrograde, is out, the energy is already here. Um, and uh, what this spread is saying, what Source is saying, it's a lot of information coming in. Um, it's kind of confirming yesterday's reading for the 1212 portal. Um, but a little bit more. So we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Cups in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands. So, this Mercury Retrograde, you know, with Retrogrades, it's a review. You um, are basically reviewing some things and with Source or your guides, um, your creator is telling you what you will be reviewing <laughs> um, during this time. Is um you'll be reviewing some of your past choices, some of your emotions cuz this um this mercury retrograde is uh this is the last retrograde of the year. Um and it starts tomorrow, December 13th and it's going to end January 1st of 2024. So it's running the rest of this year. This uh mercury will be in retrograde. Now um during this time mercury uh, it's gonna move from Capricorn in yesterday's reading. <laughs> Capricorn, I kept saying something was going on in the astrology with Capricorn. That's what's going on. The, it's Mercury is moving from Capricorn to Sagittarius, and we're in Sagittarius season. And um, the retrograde is gonna be squaring Neptune. And remember, Pisces kept popping up. If you did, if you haven't read, if you haven't seen my reading before this one. My last reading, check it out because Pisces kept popping out, and <laughs> that's because the retrograde is going to be squaring Pisces. I mean, squaring Neptune, the planet that rules Pisces now, um, and that can cause confusion, um, a lot of unclear emotions, disillusion, uh, and internalized frustrations. And that's what this spread is basically saying. Like, um, you will, like with the four swords, that's rest, that's internal. Um, that's resting, recovering from a burnout. And it could be mental burnout. You could have been overthinking. You could have been overworking physically, um, confused juggling a lot of things within yourself within your mind the in the real world too because this is a pinnacle to a pinnacle um juggling a lot of things and the two of wands too you have to make a decision so with this uh you are making a decision you have to make a decision this um year is ending the new year is about to start and you have to decide what you want to do. Do you want to keep wallowing in your emotions? Do you want to stay stuck in the past? Or do you want to move forward? Do you want to push forward? Do you want to keep going? Do you want to gain that mental clarity with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords? You are going to gain mental clarity. Through this retrograde, after this retrograde, what you are going to gain is mental clarity. You have the Knight of Swords, King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. You are going to gain mental clarity. And then the Ten of Swords in reverse. So that's that's the juggling part. That's you going back and forth. It's trying to... I guess maybe you don't know how. Maybe you don't know how to... Um, how to just be. How to be happy. 
how to release those negative energies. Rest. So it's just saying rest. That's how you release it. Stop fighting it. Stop trying to hold on to those old habits, those old tendencies. Because it's done. It's at the end. You got the last leg of that. That's over with. But you keep trying to fight it. That's why the Ten of Swords is in reverse. Stop trying to fight it. Rest. Rest and know that Source has you. Because you being in that Ten of Swords in reverse energy. The Ten of Swords is in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles is, is messing with your money. It's messing with your materialized things coming into your life. That's what's messing with your money because you, you're holding on to the past. You got to let it go. And you're getting stuck emotionally. And you shouldn't be this way. You don't have to be this way. Rest. Recuperate. Go within. Heal yourself. Because stop juggling. Stop trying to make everything work. You can't do all everything all the time. You can't. You're human. Okay? We are gods and goddesses in these bodies. We are souls. We are spirits. But we still live in these bodies. These bodies are human. They need rest. You have to take care of it. Just like you take care of your car. Just like you take care of your house. Just like you take care of whatever it is that you take care of. You need to take care of your body the same way. So that's what Source is saying. Stop juggling your health. Stop gambling with your health. Take care of your health. Some of y'all are not taking care of your health. And that's why you're emotionally stuck. You're mentally stuck. That's why you have these blockages. That's why you can't get your mind right because it's clouded because you're unhealthy. Get healthy. Protect your energy because... New things are coming in. You got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. You got the Ace of Pentacles too, but it's in reverse because your money is stuck because you're mentally and emotionally stuck. Get out of that energy. Because your money has come. This is security. This is having enough money to be generous and to share with other people. I mean, this goes in yeah. Yeah, this is having enough money to share with other people. Page of Pentacles. Manifestations coming to fruition. You have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles. Your money is coming in. It's just taking some time because you have mental and emotional and spiritual blockages that you have to release during this retrograde. That's what you will be revealing when you're in this Four Swords energy. It's a Mercury retrograde is air so during this mercury retrograde you're gonna sit down and you're gonna figure this out you're gonna sit down and you're gonna figure this out and you're gonna you're gonna get it together but during this time, that's what you will be reviewing. You're going to be reviewing your finances. You're going to re be reviewing the health of um, your health, your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health. Some people take do one thing at a time. Don't juggle. There, that's a lot to do. Don't juggle. Focus on one thing at a time. So if you give... One day you do this, the next day you do that. You do one thing for one week. If you that's what you need to do, focus on your health for one week. And you create a habit with your health. Then you start to add in, um, I mean like your diet or your physical health. Then you start to add in your mental health, you know, meditation. Um, like I have the meditation music on right now. Like I said, I felt that energy. So I put the meditation music on, the 528 hertz. It's playing in my house. I have some Palo Santos and some white sage incense burning. I'm about to get in here and do some deep cleaning. And I'm going to um, burn some dragon's blood for protection and cleansing as well. Uh, incense afterwards. So do that for yourself, for your home. You have to do spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, mentally, all everything. But you do it one step at a time. Like I 
Um, my intentions for today <laughs> was to come back from my appointment and just get straight to cleaning, turn on some music and, you know, sage the house, get the place together. And then I was going to go head first on my financial, getting things ready for that, getting that prepared and in line. And, um, so I said, you got other things that you need to, <laughs> you need to do this reading. You need to do this reading. So I felt the energy and I was able to realize that it wasn't my energy. It was the energy of the collective. So I had to come and do this reading. But like I said, with this retrograde, you will be reviewing your past. You will be reviewing your home life. And it's going to get better because it's you're going to gain the tools. You're going to get enlightened definitely enlightened with the queen of swords and the king of swords you're gonna have <laughs> and the ace of cups you're gonna gain clarity about your relationships about your connections you're gonna have new connections coming in new love new you're gonna be emotionally fulfilled with the nine of cups it's coming in but you have to review some things before a source can bless you with this. But once you review these things and once you get yourself together and get in your rightful place, baby, you're going to have this Ace of Wands. I mean, it's Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands too. <laughs> Queen of Wands. All of that. It's going to be some fiery energy. You're going to start taking action and these things are going to start moving towards you. Because you're attracting this energy but you have to review some things and get rid of some things you have to rest recuperate and get rid of some things stop juggling stop trying to hold on to old things and you're going to be inspired you're going to be a leader you're going to be you might be starting a new business starting a new family just starting a new you a new you is emerging this is um like a transformation when you get in this four swords energy you're resting you're recuperating you're trans it's a transmutation of your shadow so that's what you during this retrograde you're going to be reviewing things from your past you're going to be reviewing things with your shadow it's a transmutation of your shadow so you're going to be coming out on a good end that's why this this energy was in here the queen of uh, cups was in reverse because it's your shadow side that's the back and forth that's the pull the push and the pull that's the part of you that's if something goes wrong with the energy that's going on right now if something goes wrong you might feel like just giving up you might feel like what is the point why am i even why should i even keep trying i should just go back to sleep i should just keep going through the motions and this that don't do that don't go back to sleep. Don't keep going through the motions. Keep pushing forward. It will get better. You see this? Keep going. Keep pushing forward. It's happening. The movement is happening. It's just the retrograde is slowing things down a little bit so that you can make sure you make the right decisions and you can have that clarity to make the right decision so your money won't be funny, so you won't be emotionally unbalanced. It's bringing balance into your life. The Four of Swords is balance. That's what that's about. Ret this retrograde is reviewing so that you can find balance, so that you can be at the right frequency of vibration to receive all of these blessings that are coming into you because you have completed a cycle. And these blessings are coming in. 2024 is going to be an amazing year for you. You just have to work through the kinks with this retrograde. That's all. Something happens, something goes wrong, you just roll with it, roll through it. Flow with it. Keep your sanity. Breathe. Meditate. Okay? Alright, let's get a um message from the African goddess or Kodak. This retrograde is going to be okay. It might be a little bit confusion during this time. Just don't take any personally with other people. 
just protect yourself, get the rest that you need. I'll share one more for the collector. Okay. Balance again. Radical rebirth at the bottom of the deck. Resistance at the top of the deck, I told you. <laughs> ah, okay, look at that. Cosmic power was the first one that came out. Worthiness was the second and giving and receiving. Cosmic power, this is within you. Worthiness, you are worth it. Giving and receiving, balance, that four pinnacles. I told y'all, you said. <laughs> Balancement is what's coming in this... Um, with this retrograde, this Mercury retrograde. So we're gonna start with cosmic power. Number two. You are in the right place. Release the fear of your power. You are sacred, you are magic. Now that you know this, you can no longer pretend not to. Rise up into your magnificence. Love and accept yourself fully to unlock everything you seek. Stop pretending to be less to be less than you are because you are so much more. Your real power has nothing to do with external gains. Cosmic power cannot be destroyed or lost. You were created by the same force that birthed the sun and the moon. Goddess declaration, my power shines forth from within. My power shines forth from within. My power shines forth from within. I share. Told you. Rebirth. We're going to read that radical rebirth too. We're going to read that one too. Okay. Um, And the page stopped on the resistance. I'm going to read it since it stopped on it. It says, you are scared that you are going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. Learn to show up for yourself. You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Stop holding back, worrying, and pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance blocks growth, creativity, and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation. But there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force you really are. God is declaration. This is me. I show up. This is me. I show up. This is me. I show up. I shake. Show up for yourself. You deserve it. So I said that needed to be read. Okay. Worthiness. Like I said, you deserve it. You're worth it. Stop hiding, shrinking, and playing small. Stand tall like the majestic sycamore tree. You are mighty. Life does not need to be perfect for you to embrace your own perfection. You matter. Worthiness is your veins. Accept yourself now. Your birth certificate says that we need your overflowing magic, joy, and vulnerability. And most importantly, we need you. You are deserving and worthy. The beautiful parts of you that everyone likes are worth loving. The parts that you or others dislike are worth loving too. Your creator loves you unconditionally. God is declaration, I matter, I matter, I matter, I say. You matter. Get out of that five of cups energy because you matter. Okay? Next one, giving and receiving. Okay. Reset your harmonic balance. You are out of alignment. The sacred scale commands you to give and receive. If you receive without giving, you are selfish and out of alignment. If you give without receiving, you are stuck in martyrdom and out of alignment. Giving and receiving is spiritual law and spell work. Give time, money, service, resources, and good vibes. If you are a generous giver, cultivate a practice of receiving. Receiving is a sacred feminine principle that makes many uncomfortable. Receive compliments, joy, support, pleasure, friendship, money, and love. They are all the same to spirit. It's just energy, y'all. God is declaration. I give easily and freely. I receive freely and easily. I give easily and freely. I receive freely and easily. I give easily and freely. I receive freely and easily. I share. 
And then the last card, we are going to do the Radical Rebirth. We might do Alchemy too, because that popped up too. <laughs> okay, Radical Rebirth. Yes, you can stop the struggle. You can choose at any moment to start over and be reborn. Like the sun, you rise again and again. Dust yourself off, move forward, and go for it again. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind, and need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up if things aren't perfect. Stop waiting to be ready. Make new choices and decisions. God is declaration. Still I rise, still I rise, still I rise. I say, still you rise, boo boo. And then we're going to read alchemy because I read resistance. And that will round it off to six. Okay, so alchemy. Because this is what you're going to do with this energy um, during this retrograde. You're going to alchemize that shit. That's what Source is saying. You're going to alchemize it. So, um, let's see. Okay. Who do you need to forgive? Oh, wait. Nope. That ain't it. Well, forgiveness too. Forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive somebody. <laughs> That's not the right one that I wanted to read though. But forgive yourself and forgive somebody, Source. That was for somebody. That maybe was holding you back. Forgive somebody. Release that. That may be what you need to release during this retrograde. Forgive yourself and forgive somebody. All right. And alchemize that energy. It is time you turn everything that life throws your way into gold. You are on the path to fulfilling your purpose. You are an alchemist. You have the power to bend universal energy. Dare to transmute lead, lead, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dare to transmute lead into gold by shifting from fear to love. Everything you desire exists in some form of loving energy. Match this frequency. I just said, <laughs> see it in your mind's eye first. Imagine it. I am loved fully. What does it look, taste, and smell like to be loved unconditionally? I am happy and healthy. See it. I am a money magnet. What does it feel like? Goddess declaration. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I touch turns to gold. I shake. So that's the word for today. This message. This message is that you are going through a radical rebirth during this mercury retrograde you are releasing the old stuff you are forgiving yourself you are forgiving others you can't carry that with you into this four wands you can't carry that with you into the new place that you're going to and you have to realize that's what's keeping you from feeling worthy that's what's blocking, that's the resistance that's blocking you from reaching your full potential, from embracing your cosmic power. You have to find balance with giving and receiving. Don't be a martyr by just giving, giving, giving. And don't be greedy by just taking, taking, taking. That's another thing too with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That's greed. That's why it's in reverse. So somebody is being greedy, either towards you or you are being greedy. Balance. Giving and receiving. Find balance. Because you're going through a radical rebirth. And you want to alchemize that negative energy and turn it into positive. Because it's, it's, it's there for you. You can get this nine of cups. You can get the queen of wands, king of swords. You're going to get clarity. You're going to get new connections, new emotional connections love you're gonna get marriage you're gonna have family a stable home a secure happy home it's coming to you emotional stability is coming to you gratefulness is coming but you just got to make it through this retrograde so do the work take your time love yourself protect yourself forgive yourself forgive others know that you are worthy know that you are powerful 
know that you have the power to change your own life and the lives of those around you. Alchemize that shit and keep it pushing. I love y'all. Be blessed. Ashe.